hey, hey, what's up, Dream Team? Um, it is Brittany Metke here. Um, if you're new, hi and welcome. You're Ruby National Executive. I am at the top of this uh, massive organization here. So if you're here, um, you're on the team somehow and I'm your upline, so hi. Um, if you've uh, caught um, the last live I did, we were talking about doing um, shorter more often training so people can kind of jump in, learn a little information, and just always have something to access to instead of like long drawn out trainings where you have to like carve a huge piece of your day. And we're talking about learning and implementing. So that's what we're here doing. Um, first, let me show you um, Space Case and Dripping in Diamonds. Did this one yesterday. I'm pretty. I had Space Case by itself for a while, and then I was on the a call, and I, Dripping in Diamonds was just sitting out, and I was like, "Let me try that," and I think it looks beautiful. So, um, I thought this could be a really cool kind of, I guess you would say, like. Um, multiple part training because I posted that huge list this morning. Um, that huge list is just different ways you can work your business. And then I kind of, uh, that um, I got from Nicole Stillman, um, but then I tweaked it. I There was some um, that she had posted that I didn't share, especially with COVID right now. There was just no way those were gonna happen. And then I added some and tweaked some. And there were some questions. So I'm like, oh, I could just grab a few things off of that, that list and then, um, um, kind of expand on it. So we'll just do this like what's working Wednesday in person and I'm just going to give you a few different things um, that I saw people ask for specifically and then we'll just you know every time I have a few spare minutes I can jump on and cover some more and then we'll add on to the list. So I thought that would be fun. Okay so one thing I want to touch on the first one because that's the one I've gotten the most PMs from so I'm not ignoring you and then messages is like the fundraiser option. So I put um, on there, um, go to nursing homes or assistant livings and do the residence nail or have a nail bar for the employee. Um, and then also I had mentioned another one as far as um, offering the opportunity at halfway houses. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about both of those. So um, people are like, oh my gosh, how do I do a fundraiser? So Right now, obviously, with COVID, no one's at, outside of an employee are being allowed to go into those places right now. I know that personally because my fiance's um, mother actually um, has dementia, and she's in a home, a home right now. They actually were just going to start finally now having visits, and it's, it was going to be outside. So that's not going to happen. Like, we're not going to be allowed to go in and put anything on people's nails, right? So that was like... BC before COVID. So after COVID, what we're going to look as a, is a way, and I have friends on my um, Facebook feed, and I've done this before, that actually work in those places. Um, they are activity directors. So you could do it a few different ways. Um, you could maybe even set up like a basket of some sets you have on hand. And um, she could maybe sell them. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. What I would like to do is do it this way. Have her do her own fundraiser um, where you would just make, um, I think what I would do is make her the hostess and then people shop and she's earning um, product credit to um, bring to her residence for the activity director or whoever if they work there or if they just want something to do. So what I would do is have her like run the party and then also give people the option in the party be like, hey, and, and if you wanna just pick out a few nail sets, we can just ship them to um, Sally. Um, and Sally will bring them into work in her work and do it that way. Um, and then that's a way that you could get you'll get the commission, um, but she's going to get the product to use on the residence at whatever home they're in um, and do it that way. And then also you could just highlight there, like um, give them the option to ship um, purchase sets as a fundraiser for this cause. People are going to want to do that. Um, I know people are going to want to do that because I've I've done that before for um, like classrooms. I've talked about, I've done different fundraisers too, not on that, like for um, teachers needing supplies to where um, I made myself the hostess 
where I kept the product credit and I gave her my commission. I know not everyone's in the position to give commission, but what I've learned, especially in the beginning, like the more I was generous and willing to give and establish myself as a stylist, it came back tenfold because I, um, I was meeting new people, people that may not have ordered before, but now they want to support their friend or a fundraiser. And I've done that before for medical supplies, um, even a single mom. I have done um, added on extra hostess bonuses, like where I may have thrown a little cash in there. And it honestly did come from my commission. But what it did was get me more because like we are here for the long game, like residual, like people coming on a regular basis. That is the best thing to do. Like it it's great if we have someone shop one time, but we want those, we want to retain those customers. So I'd rather like maybe not get the money like right away, but then know that I'm creating brand loyalty and meeting new people and that they're going to regularly shop to me, shop with me on a regular basis. Like come to me, let me be the person. So that's where the fundraisers are always going to be a good idea, no matter how you do it. Um, so that's how I would do it with that is like actually allow people to um, buy the sets and ship to her. You can do it if you have online inventory, even like that would be if you have your own on hand inventory, you could even set it up like a live sale or something and put the stuff there and have say, listen, um, and you could even do it like a sale. All my sets are $10. All my sets are $10. Tell me how many you want to buy for um, Janie to give to her residents at work so they can have a fun activity to do or pamper themselves. Just let me know. Like mystery sets, like people love to give, right? Of course, this all has to be done in a closed group, but there's so many different ways that you can do it. Um, and you know, $10 per set um, doesn't like affect your money at all because like if you're not offering the buy um if you're not offering the buy three get one free and then you already got the commission so you're not really losing any money there um another thing people were asking is um someone was asking specifically about stickers so this is something especially if you're new here you need to right away make sure people have a way to contact you and know your website. You should never be like, oh yeah, I'm a Color Street stylist. Just go and look on the website. Hopefully you'll find me. For one, you're not going to come up because um, that's not a... Um... Jessica, yeah, always it's a good time to start a fundraiser. We never should have the mindset that it's not a good time. Like I start parties on the last day of the month. I enroll people on the last day of the month. Like, um we should never, it's always a good time to do a fundraiser, to have a nail bar, to sign someone up, always, because we're always going to keep going and always have, like, more customers, more people, like, we never want to put something off because life happens, and then, like, what if they don't want to do it then now, or so something happens to them, or, like, I've had someone that I, in my head, it was the last day of the month, and she wanted to sign up, and, of course, I already had a bunch of signups that month, so I was like, no, you know, well, I'll, let's just do it tomorrow because I was thinking like circle of excellence. Her kids got the flu. All, she didn't sign up for like four months after that and she was ready to sign up that day. And it's the same with any, if people are ready to go, take them always. So yeah, you always want to make sure people have a way we're going to go back to this one. Have a way to contact you. Know your website. Um, so we do have that website on there. Um, and in the beginning, you you maybe not, you can't afford like business cards or stickers and stuff. But I, there are things that you can afford and people will appreciate that. And if that's even like getting a piece of printer paper and typing out your website and application instructions and including that, that's what I did. You have to make, this is a business, guys. This is a business. You have to think of it as a, if, if you're working it as a business, that's what it is. And you have to think of it as such. And then you can make it goals to do other things. So at first, that's what I did. I printed out my whole mycolorstreet.com, typed literally the instructions, cut up the paper and put it. And then eventually, you know, um, from my mon from the money that I was making, I, I went on um, Etsy and I bought a little card business card template and updated that to Vistaprint. That was my next goal. And then the next month, I decided to buy a domain on GoDaddy. A dome, you can do it on a GoDaddy. You can do it on tiny URL for free. 
So what a domain is, is um, now anyone can go to www.brittanymetke.com and they can find, it's a one-stop shop. My link tree is set up to www.brittanymetke.com. They can request a sample there. They can shop my stock there. They can um, shop my party there. They can watch an application video there. What it has, and I, and like I said, I know maybe in the beginning that's overwhelming, or and you know, and maybe you don't have the money to like invest. Linktree is free, and you can get a tiny URL for free too. There's things you can do for free, but you need to be branding yourself as a business. So, say like you um, want to pass out catalogs, like I'm saying, like I put a sticker on everything now, and that's what I was saying because people want to contact you, right? So it's just easy. They're off of. Uh, Vista print. It's brittanymetke.com. And I'm going to put those on. I'm going to put those on my catalogs. Any catalog that I'm laying somewhere, I want to make sure people have a way to find me. You guys see I have those custom made um, Tuesday cards coming that are like this. I put them on there. On every single set that I sell, that has my stuff there because they may give it to someone. I want to always make sure that they can have a way to shop with me. It's super easy. You can even get sticker paper and print it off in your own printer at home. Make it. It does it. It's nothing that you have to like spend a lot of money on. Very little. Spend a lot of time on. But just make sure they have an easy way to find you. And this is just a lesson learned, guys. Like from when I signed up and I just tried to pass out my stuff everywhere and never followed up. Um, and I never really gave them that much information. Um, I didn't like put my uh, stuff where they can find me. If I am out and about, I do like actually like to text them. Here's a couple other things on the thing. I text them my business card and I offer them like a discount on their next order. And having people's phone numbers, which was on the list, is a great way for me because um, people do respond better to text. Um, and I got that because like my, the girl that I was buying us us born, use born, whatever those books, those kid books from started texting me. And I'm like, I'm going to start texting my customers. So when they um, request a sample or anything, I always get their phone number so I can just text them. Um, another good thing to do is offering um, a VIP group chat. Obviously, you don't want to blow it up, but that's something to offer. I wouldn't post in there more than twice a month. Um, you might post like if there is a launch or you're doing a mega sale and like you would reach out to your um, great customers and say, hey, I'm going to do this group chat, um, you know, and I just because you're and you, you're so loyal. I want to make sure you get the good news and maybe offer them something first, like before you post in your VIP, offer it to that group chat. Um, I talked in there about making sure you're collecting emails. We've been talking about that a lot. Um, if you haven't used that feature, always collect emails um, so you can, again, have those other contacts with people. Um, let's see. Talked about the color street decal on the car. This can be kind of a hot button topic. I do know like some insurance companies might think you're using it for your business for your car. I don't know anything about that. Um, I do know that people that have color street on their car have literally told me that they have had phone calls from people saying, oh, I see your local and sell color street. Do you have this strip? Always when I go out wearing something that says color street on it. Now we have the mask. Everyone has to wear a mask mask, shirt, cup, because it just like, again, engages that conversation where now you have that sample that you always have on hand to tell them about it. It's just always trying to start that conversation. Um, I talked about, oh, and then the, here, we'll end with this one. Um, so there, I will do two more. Okay, so one thing I like to do sometimes is like look at what we have on stock on the website or something that I have like a lot on hand because maybe I got crazy and ordered it and find like the best nail fees ever and then literally just post all about it all, all in my VIP. And I might even, if it's from my stock, do like a little flash sale. Like maybe I won't charge them shipping or something like that and just like talk 
and just feature that set. Spotlight this set all through the day. If you're in those nail fee groups, you're going to find really cool ways. Or say, um, I know there are some people that were complaining about getting Tokyo Light samples. I think you're crazy for the record. Tokyo Lights is an amazing sample to get. But say you have a sample that you're like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Like this mystery sample, like no one wants this. I would then, and I've done this, is like search the nail fee group where that sample has been used as a mixed mani and then like post nail fees like that. And I'm like, okay, if you buy this set, I will include this accent nail in your order. And that's something for your on hand. Or if you buy this set on my website, I will send you this accent nail um, in the mail as a thank you. So you can do that mixed mani. So you don't have to buy two sets. And it's just like working with what you've got, <laughs> kind of talking like that. Um, find like an awesome nail fee and just reach out to a customer that hasn't bought for a while. Like, oh my gosh, I wanted to show you this. Like, I thought of you, isn't this amazing? What's really cool is I actually have all of these in stock right now, so I could ship it out to you or I could drop it off on the way of the kids, you know? <clears throat> and one more, I'll go over one more thing because I'm like getting all excited reading this. Um, so loyalty, we're always, and if you saw the common theme throughout there is rewarding referrals. Always reward referrals because you want people to consistently keep buying from you. That is the thing we're talking about, customer retention, not one-stop shops. That's not what we're here for. We want to just have that. We're in for the long game. So anything to um, reward their loyalty and referrals, which would be like, hey, would you post that on your wall for, would you post your nail fee on your wall and just tag me, please? Um, you know, if I get an order, or if I get a couple orders or something like that, um, you know, you can give them whatever, whatever your prize, whatever is in your budget. The loyalty, like, and I, um, and I've seen, and you can actually get these like online, like online loyalty cards or fun in person ones, like, get 12 nail strips, um, either however you want to do it online or for your inventory, then they get the 13th of their choice from you. That's always going to reward them to come back to you. Any type of like um, scratch off, anything that feels like a discount, people love that. Like free shipping to where they order from the website and then you can just PayPal them the $3 or um, some type of sale like from your on-hand inventory if you have that like anything to like just get them to shop with you again. Um, here's one for you. Here's one for your friend. I always like to send um, like two accent, uh, two nail fee cars and two. And I'm like, hey, give this to your friend, right? Um, maybe you know someone and give this one to your friend, a sample. And just always trying to reward that um, referrals because that's like event, uh, you know, that's where our bread and butter comes from. If we only have one person shopping with us one time, it's going to be really, really hard to stay in business, right? So we just always want to keep going and finding out ways to encourage them sending their friends your way and making it fun for them. So anyways, I hope this helped. Um, I will definitely be back on sometime because we have so many more and I saw a lot more ideas in the comments. So I hope you guys all have a great rest of your week and I will see you soon. Bye.